is going on you guys it's your boy Artie, executive director of film it's a art today we're taking a look at Devontae walker wide receiver from the university of north carolina formerly of kent state this is a prospect who has had a slight fall of grace um during this process he came in fresh off the season highly thought of as high as i remember of being in the late 20s of Jer daniel jeremiah excuse me uh his first big board after the senior bowl had some drops during the practices had some drops during the game stock kind of dwindled a little bit but um after the combine when he ran a 435 i was already planning on doing a video for Devontae walker i kind of said to myself let me let me see if i can paint a you know really clear picture of Devontae walker because i don't think that you know he's a top 30 player but i also don't think he's a player that belongs outside of the top 100 we just did our um top 100 big board uh for this draft for this uh draft cycle at this point and Devontae walker was a top 60 player for us so it's not like we think Devontae walker is a bum um, he, he, he definitely has, you know, some things that he needs to work on to be his best self at the next level. But overall, Devontae Walker is a very, very talented wide receiver. Let's go ahead and look at some of his notes from his scouting report. Um, phenomenal athlete, as as previously mentioned, ran a 4.36.40. Jumped 40 and a half inches on the vert. Broad jumped 11 2, all at 6'1, 193 pounds. That's nuts. That, that's ridiculous athleticism for his size. Um, really, really good at turning up field after the catch, you know, uh, r um, run after catch ability. One of the best in the class. Added a certified deep threat as well. Can really get busy going down the field. We'll see that a little bit later in the film session. And honestly, just really needs to work on those drops the slight frame is something that i believe he will always be able to play with um will, will always play with uh i don't see him adding much muscle to that frame but it's the drops man if Devontae walker can literally just stop dropping the ball Devontae walker could be a very 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 good nfl wide receiver with his ability to stretch the field his ability to run after he catches the ball like Devontae Walker is a very, very talented player. This dude in his sophomore season at Kent State because he transferred to North Carolina, he caught 12 touchdowns on 58 catches. He had 58 catches, over a thousand yards, and 12 touchdowns. That tells you the type of ability that Devontae Walker has. Like, yo, he is he is a problem he is a problem i love how as we get back to the tape here i love how you know when it comes to these you know deep crossers or whatever i love how he calmly you know looks the ball in on them, right him and drake may really had a nice rapport right but a lot of people when they're going across the middle of the field they're kind of you know not in la la land but kind of careless right and Devontae walker is not that but let's go ahead and get to it right the drops because they are problematic they are you know legit and they happened at kent state and they also happened at north carolina they happened at the senior bowl you know they happened at the senior bowl practices and senior bowl game right so the drops are clearly an issue but let me tell you there's two kind of drop problems i've kind of addressed this in other videos like troy franklin xavier worthy guys like that there's two kinds of drop problems. There's not being able to track the ball or just not having the right catching technique. I believe that Devontae Walker drops mainly are just focus drops, right? There are some times you see on this play, he's got a little bit of contact, doesn't really, you know, handle the contact as best as he could. But a lot of Devontae Walker's drops are just him just not really just keying in eyeing in on the football and securing the catch 
you know, I, I've seen Devontae Walker make some spectacular catches, right? So it's not like the hands are necessarily bad. I just believe it's more of a focus issue. You know, some you know, sometimes when, when these receivers are running downfield, it may be hard to see because of the sun. You know, sometimes they lose the ball in the air and then boom with hit lands in their in their uh, lap. Like I believe that Vontez Walker's issues are more focused than, you know, um, you know, just chronic or anything like that, like chronic bad hands or you know, uh um even as far as not cons not confident in his hands. I think he's pretty confident in his hands. You're gonna see when we get to the you know the deep ball portion that he's he's pretty confident in his hands. He he, he doesn't mind, you know, jumping out the stadium to get a football. Devontae Walker just showing him again run after catchability in space. Really, really liked how Kent State used him. I was very surprised when I watched the Kent State film. When I went to the Kent State film, you know, just our first uh, watch, not really checking the stats or anything. I was kind of like, okay, let's see what let's see what Devontae Walker did last year, and he turned up. <laughs> he turned up again here as we continue looking at the uh, run after the catchability. You see how he caught that ball at about the 15-ish, I want to say, yard line. And he just turned up field, and he took basically three steps, and he was at the doorstep of the end zone. Like, the ability to catch the football and turn up field is really, really, really good for Devontae Walker. Also love this here down the red zone, showing some of that route running ability and contested catch ability as well. Quarterback puts it right on his back shoulder and makes a really, really nice catch uh, for the touchdown there. Again, here against Virginia, this is a beautiful throw by Drake May. But look at the route by Walker and the hands by Walker there. Does that look like someone who isn't confident in their hands? Does it look like someone who, you know, you know, doesn't really uh, have the proper catch technique, right? This is another example, too, right? This is a tough catch. The quarterback leads him a little bit too much, but because of the 33-inch arms, and because of the ability to, you know, track the football, makes the catch. But enough of the politics. Let's get to the most fun part of this film session. Let's get to the deep balls. Let's get to the ability of Devontae Walker to run by people and make these sideline catches, which is, you know, why a lot of people had him right after the season as a top 30 player like on this play Devontae walker absolutely cooks nate wiggins now nate wiggins for us at film is art is a top 30 player and it's plays like this that you know probably had guys like daniel jeremiah Dane brugler you know saying like hey like this guy should be in the consideration to go late first round and if you only look at the tape you know you you could make that argument but you know just just needing to see a little more, um, a little more route running nuance as well. Didn't put on the schedule, but a little more route running nuance and and can prove the drops. And you know, Devontae Walker can definitely be a high end wide receiver too for a football team. Um, his ability to stretch the field is evident, it's outstanding. And to be completely honest, if Devontae Walker were to go to a team like the Buffalo Bills, right. That really helps out Josh Allen, right? Think about this also. If Devontae Walker goes to New York Jets, that really helps out Aaron Rodgers, right? You have Garrett Wilson and Devontae Walker on the other side. Two, four, three receivers on the field at the same time. Um, Shoot. Whoever the quarterback is in New York. Because <laughs> I assume they might draft one. Michael Penix. Uh, maybe J.J. McCarthy. You give them a wide receiver to throw the football to down the field as a rookie in Devontae Walker. That that will definitely help, you know, your football team. Here's a look at Devontae Walker's scouting report. I already read it, so I'm not going to go over it again. But you guys can read it at your own leisure. Here's a look at Devontae Walker's career stats, both at Kent State University and North Carolina. 
as you guys see, those North Carolina stats were only recorded in eight games. So you see the immense talent that he has. And here's a look at Devon Tez Walker's best team fits. If you like this video, please like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. Have a blessed one.